5 seconds to go start sir efficient use of land resources is a strong imperative states will be encouraged to adopt unique land parcel identification number to facilitate it based management of records the facility for transliteration of land records across any of the schedule 8 languages will also be rolled out the adoption or linkage with national generic document registration system with the one nation one registration software will be promoted as an option for uniform process for registration and anywhere registration of deeds and documents necessary amendments in the code will be carried out to enhance the efficacy of the resolution process and facilitate cross border insolvency resolution several it based systems have been established for accelerated registration of new companies now the center for processing accelerated corporate exit with process reengineering will be established to facilitate and speed up the voluntary winding up of these companies from the currently required 2 years to less than 6 months government rules have recently been modernized for the needs the amrit kal the new rules have benefited from the inputs from various stakeholders the modernized rules allow use of transparent quality criteria besides cost in evolution of complex tenders provisions have been made for payment of 75% of running bills mandatorily within 10 days and for encouraging settlement of disputes through conciliation as a further step to enhance transparency and to reduce delays in payments a completely paperless end to end online e-bill system will be launched for use by all central ministries for their procurements the system will enable the suppliers and contractors to submit online their digitally signed bills and claims and track their status from anywhere to reduce indirect cost for suppliers and work contractors the use of surety bonds as a substitute for bank guarantee will be made acceptable in government procurements business such as gold imports may also find this useful irdai has given the framework for issue of surety bonds by insurance companies the animation visual effects gaming and comic sector offers immense potential to employ youth an avgc promotion task force with all stakeholders will be set up to recommend ways to realize this and build domestic capacity for serving our markets and the global demand telecommunication in general and 5g technology in particular can enable growth and offer job opportunities 
required spectrum auctions will be conducted in 2022 a scheme for design led manufacturing will be launched to build a strong ecosystem for 5g as a part of the production linked incentive scheme to enable affordable broadband and mobile service proliferation in rural and remote areas 5% of annual collections under the universal service obligation fund will be allocated this will promote r&d and commercialization of technologies and solutions our vision is that all villages and their residents should have the same access to e services communication facilities and digital resources as urban areas and their residents the contracts for laying optical fiber in all villages including remote areas will be awarded under the bharat net project through ppp in 2022-23 completion is expected in 2025 measures will be taken to enable better and more efficient use of the optical fiber the special economic zones act will be replaced with a new legislation that will enable the states to become partners in development of enterprise and service hubs this will cover all large existing and new industrial enclaves to optimally utilize available infrastructure and enhance competitiveness of exports our government is committed to reducing imports and promoting atmanirbharta in equipment for the armed forces 68% of the capital procurement budget will be earmarked for domestic industry in 2022-23 up from 58% in 2021-22 defense r&d will be opened up for industry startups and academia with 25% of defense r and d budget earmarked private industry will be encouraged to take up design and development of military platforms and equipment in collaboration with drdo and other organizations through spv model an independent nodal umbrella body will be set up for meeting wide ranging testing and certification requirements artificial intelligence geospatial systems and drones semiconductor and its ecosystem space economy genomics and pharmaceuticals green energy and clean mobility systems have immense potential to assist sustainable development at scale and modernize the country they provide employment opportunities for youth and make indian industry more efficient and competitive sportive policies light touch regulations facilitative actions to build domestic capacities and promotion of research and development will guide the government's approach 
for R&D in these sunrise opportunities in addition to efforts of collaboration among academia, industry and public institutions, government contribution will be provided. The risks of climate change are the strongest negative externalities that affect India and other countries. As Honorable Prime Minister said at the COP26 summit in Glasgow last November, what is needed today is mindful and deliberate utilization instead of mindless and destructive consumption. Stop.